Hello and welcome to what will be the first of a few um, videos that I'm going to do. Uh, basically, I'm going to I'm going to build this 3D printer. It's the Rostock variety. Um, I knew nothing about um, 3D printers up until maybe a month ago, and I stumbled across it online and just fell in love with the concept and, and thought, right, I've got to build one. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, on top of knowing virtually nothing about 3D printers. I don't know anything about electronics, I can't solder, um, I'm a complete and utter novice, so um, going online I've, I've looked at some of the uh, some of the information that's out there, basically there, there is a lot of information out there but it's very fragmented, there's no kind of easy step by step guide at, to how, as to how to make one of these things, so I just thought well I will put, put together a few videos if an idiot like me can do it, then you know I'll share the problems that I come across with you and any tips, you know that type of thing. And um, so you know if you decide to do the same yourself, you can you can maybe learn something from my videos, from my mistakes. Okay, so I've bought a load of the stuff. Um, it hasn't all arrived yet, but most you know a lot of it's here. So I'm going to kind of crack on. Um, so I'll just run through a few of the a few of the bits and bobs that, that I've got. Uh, that's, this is the the main board that will power it. Whoops! I dropped it already. Um, it's all the pins and whatnot that you can you you know you attach the motors to and all the other bits and bobs. Uh, I'll probably go into a bit more detail, obviously, you know, in later videos. Uh, the end stops wiring that came with it all. What else we got here? I think they're like little tiny heat sinks that you put onto these onto these chips. And they're very thermistors and, and LEDs and whatnot. Um, an LED display that came that I got with it. I bought some of this as part of a kit. Um, I've sourced all you know all the nuts and bolts and bits and bobs, power supply loads of different stuff from different places but I did buy just you know this kind of section as part of a kit and um, I'll, I'll provide links to that in you know at the bottom of the video um, came incredibly quickly from from Hong Kong I've uh, I've had I bought stuff from like 20 miles away it's taken longer to get to me than this stuff did it's amazing so anyway um, and I'll also post I'm, I'm putting together on the internet there is a bill of materials for the Rostock but it's incomplete, it's um, in US dollars, some of the links don't work. So I'm going to put my complete um, bill of materials right down to the very last screw. Um, and so if you wanted to build one yourself, again, you, can, you could just follow that and get, get the same stuff. Um, up to this point, it's cost me, I think, 320 quid roughly, but... Um, that is set to increase. I've got, st I've still got more stuff to buy, so it's going to be in, in excess of 400. I mean, hopefully it won't be too much more in excess than that, but in for a penny, in for a pound, anyway. So yeah, anyway, L LED um, display. It's got like a an emergency stop button and a, and a, uh, a control knob there. It's got an SD card reader on the back, so you don't have to connect the printer to a computer to print off. You can just print directly from SD um, and also I did get a micro SD connector as well so you can do the same from micro SD card um, got the heat bed um, I got four stepper motors which is what you need this this came this morning separately this is like uh, the extruder um, fly Nuts and bolts and bearings and whatnot. So, so basically, we're getting we're getting the kit together. The boards, I I just bought a, some um, MDF from Wix's. The original spec is this, which was kind of quite square. Uh, in my opinion, took up to more desk space than it should do or than it needed to. So I've modified it and cut these corners off as well. It kind of gives it a three D shape, I think, but the heat bed fits nicely on it. Um, I think in the end as well was to, so I mean, you put glass on top of the heat bed, 
can see it with all their kit, they'll be able to put straight onto these corners without having to cut any more of the wood away and all that notches. Um, so yeah, for now, I think that's that's about it. As I say, I'm going to um, do a series of, of videos documenting the problems I run into and you know any any tips and tricks that I come across. If you've built one of these and you can see me going completely wrong, um, <laughs> please feel free to let me know as well. All right, thanks very much. And um, forgive me sniffing. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> it's freezing cold. I've got, I've got a bit of a cold, but so please, I do apologise for that. Thanks very much.